guys remember in 2007, she flipped out of her mind, shaved her head, and sitting on the porch. Yes, just on the sidewalk. This is the house that Miss Britney Spears used to stay in here when she got divorced from Mr. Kevin Federline. She just shaved, she sat, she sat down on the sidewalk, shaved her head. I'm right here. Ambulance actually came up and picked her up. Ready? Yep. Thank you, boss. Later. If you guys ever seen this house, it's for two reasons. One, it's short, and the other one has to be with what? If you guys notice on my left hand side, it's the house from Get Shorty. Also, you might have seen this house in a previous commercial based on two cars, Lexus and Mercedes. This is where they tell you to get the 2.5 for every annual APR right here for Mercedes and Lexus. You guys ever seen that back in the before the pandemic? No. I don't that's, house, it. that's also a house for Get Shorty, Don Travolta, and this is Danny DeVito. Ready? Guys, if you guys find something here in Beverly Hills, like a Louis Vuitton purse, a man's watch, wallet, Rolex, uh, you can keep it, but if you find a car, uh, let me get it. I mean, that is a good way, guys. Boxing? Yep. Yeah. Nice house for $26 million. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Look at that house. If you saw those windows covered in dark, it's because that's a wine cellar room, meaning that's his wine room to sit down and just relax. Yeah. If you guys notice these houses over here on my right on my left left hand side is actually gonna be for sale. Their price is unknown. Why? Because people are just getting sick of tired of the <laughs> Oh by the by the way guys, if you guys like McGregor. He was staying on this 10A bungalow, paid $20,000 per night to recover. He was on a wheelchair going up and down. Mayweather actually saw it. He's all like, you're in front of my house. It was on Instagram. They had, a, they had a little conversation. Those guys never liked each other ever since. Ready? Yep. You hear that? Yeah. North Carolina. If you guys want to get married, you make a reservation and they want to actually, actually let you borrow that um, Man. You guys see it from here? No. Does anybody like Kardashian? My mama. <laughs> you guys might have seen this house on season three or four. Why? Because she's been staying with Reggie Bush back in 2007. You guys remember Reggie Bush, right? Yeah. Reggie Bush is now making really commercial. Not a bad deal, you can talk to football. So if you guys make reservations on uh, Greystone Mansion, you guys can actually go in there and get married. The city will actually get you. Rent it out for free while you get the priest, the best man, the flower girl. Guess what I'm gonna do? Also, this is one of my favorite spots on my right hand side. This is the kick card out of the property back in 2007 with Reggie Bush. What happened? She did that. She got with Humphreys right after Humphreys. I don't know what she did. Then all I know that she came across Mr. Kanye West. This is Beverly Hills. Nobody really likes Mr. Kanye West. I don't say that in a bad way. I don't say that in a good way. But I'm just saying that if you guys see Kanye West here in Holly in Beverly Hills, please don't, please don't get your attitude flimsy, buddy. Right there. Nice house, right? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Now that property is about close to like $40 million. What does that mean? I'm taking my life savings for that one. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Yeah, 
always got to be nice though. So. If you start looking over here to my right hand side, you guys going to see a house that looks like a little block. A block house. And actually, it used to belong, and it still belongs to one of the relatives of Mr. Frank Sinatra. Wow. You guys see that little block house? Yeah. yeah. Nice, right? You guys remember that movie? This is what is that? Movie? It was a black. It was a black and white movie. The fifth, the angel talks to you on Christmas Day. What is that Rose movie? Bud? Huh? Rosebud. Rosebud. I'll show you where she is today. You guys are never gonna. Angel talks to you. Talks to you. Oh, by the way, guys. Oh, Lamar Odom, who lives here with Gordon Kardashian. On my right hand side. $25,000 a month. Nice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. This is a wonderful life. The angel that speaks, yeah, her grandson is in this house oh, right here. Grandson. She bought it. She, got, she bought this back in the early when she did that movie. The wonderful life, the angel. I forgot the angel's name. Clarence. Clarence, it's a guy. It's a guy though. Yeah. Her family still owns this house. Nice house, right? Yeah. 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 I gotta get that. I, 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 I know it, I just get it. See this house right here? It's just going to run in the room. Run in the room, yep. Yeah. People will walk by and try to get a glimpse of it. She had a lot of property. Rental property is Bob property. She had a lot of properties here. Did you know that she actually made her go out? to my left hand side as I make this left hand turn. This is actually one of my favorite artists. She actually got divorced not that long ago. She built this house with the team right there. It's one of my favorite artists. If you guys notice right here is my Carrie's house. She built this during the pandemic. What happened? She built it for a long time. Got through. What's up, boss? Ready? Yeah. You guys are ready? Yep. Yes. Elizabeth Elizabeth Montgomery used to live right here. She was filming a TV show called Bewitched. She got an upgrade. This house has been upgraded to those glass doors. It used to be brown doors with those glass doors at. Right. Start looking over to your left hand side. As soon as I pass this utility truck, you guys are going to see his property. This gentleman has no introduction. Why? Because I barely remember him. But if he had, but if my mom told me who he was, I was like, really? If you guys know that that's Columbo, you guys can see the vehicle from the TV show Columbo. You guys see it? Yeah. I got it. 
Left hand side, you guys see this gentleman right here at UPS? Thanks, UPS. Thanks, bro. He actually delivered my PS5. What? Because my kid wanted it. <laughs> Ready? Yes. Also, one of my favorite artists, I actually didn't know her, but I met her son, Desi Jr. If you guys don't want to see your left hand side, I love Lucy. She passed away in cancer by 1987, remember? Yeah. This is Miss Lucy, Lucy of Ball's house on my left hand side. Nice house, right? Yeah. Her son still owns that property, but I guess he had the issue with drugs and alcohol. Do you remember that? Yeah. My mom actually liked him in a movie called Mumbo King back in the early 1992. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We're going to also be heading back to Beverly Hills. Everybody, what you're looking at right now is actually a Beverly Hill Street. If you look at the blue line, that is actually a LA County Street. What does that mean? We cross the border. Thank you. Everybody, if you guys start noticing over here on my right hand side, this is the king of rock and roll Elvis. His granddaughter is still home. His granddaughter still on the property. It's becoming what a famous spot for them. Why? Because they're becoming in and out lately. Oh, also, did you know? Did you guys know that Elvis passed away in, in Nashville, Tennessee? What year? Uh, 67. 67, right? 67. No. 76. 76. I was dying. Memphis. Have you guys noticed that session with the crackhead open? Yeah, I tried to take it. It's too heavy. I couldn't take it, so I left Are it right behind. This is actually the, <laughs> the king of uh, rock and roll, Elvis Estate. Uh, hey, guy. Yeah. I like that dude. Ready? We are ready. Yep. If you guys start looking over to my left hand side, you guys are going to see one of the rental properties of Mr. Michael Jackson. He passed away here back in June 25th, 2009. If you look at the third balcony, this is where he passed away. In the balcony right here, this is a rental property. Also, you guys know that this whole street, remember I showed you the streets of Beverly Hills and LA? Now it's based, uh, now we don't know where they rent it out. So maybe it's a rental property. You know, it's owned by a real estate company out by Westwood. You guys are ready? Yes. Oh, there's a crash. I'm going to wait for you today. Sorry, bro. Oh, by the way, my cable is on my left hand side. I really don't show that property to the same street. I can show it. Houses, does anybody have a bad brother, a bad husband that you guys want to get rid of? Huh? Not yet. No. You guys do? No. I'm gonna I need you to take a picture, remember this, and when they act bad, tell them they're gonna drop you off and tell them yeah. Don't make them do it. Does anybody see the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special? The only Guardians of the Galaxy with no villain? For Kevin Bacon? You guys ever see that? No. Uh, my kids love Kevin Bacon. Well, I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy. So they know how, they not know who Kevin Bacon is. But if you guys notice over here, Disney, Disney Shoe, shot a special on that White House on my left hand side. They shot a special. It cost Disney nearly about $7.5 million for a 12 second shot. This is where Drax and Mantis were flipping the cars and putting the officers to sleep here in Beverly Hills. I like, I like, uh, by the way, guys. For your FYI, if you guys like Disney movies, like those type of movies, if you guys notice, on every title of the Guardians of the Galaxy is a person that's going to pass away from the movie. Did you guys know that? No. no. 
Yeah, so the first one was Drew. It was Wooden on the first time. Then Yandu passed away. It was Drew on volume two. Volume three is supposed to be Rocky. Sorry, I ruined it. By the way, guys, like I said, ladies, if you guys want to get rid of your husbands, your sons, your grandchildren, just the place to be. Does anybody remember the story about two young kids, a boy and a girl, walking into the forest? Then they start eating berries, pick berries, walk down deep into the uh, deep into the forest, and then an adult gets them in their house, and they let them in. She kept feeding them, feeding them, feeding them. Who am I talking about? It's, it's based on a children's story. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel? Yeah. <laughs> Remember, ladies, if you guys want to drop off your kids, your husband, there's a place to be. As I come forward, you guys know that I was talking about Hansel and Gretel. If you guys don't believe me, look at the house. Why do I say this? Because I try to drop off my kids on October 30th over here. Why? Because they're acting bad. What happens when they get in the house? They start crying and screaming. I almost got arrested. Why? Because they thought I hit my kids. I thought I never did that. Obviously, they're acting bad. As I make this wide turn, you guys can see the house. Oh, yeah, oh. Believe it or not. Wow. Wow. Remember, if your husband and kids, grandchildren. One dollar, one, because it's custom made. It's one out of one. So if you steal that car, they're going to know who it is. Why? It has a tracking device. Also, the Beyond store, if you guys go there, there's a $1,500 charge once they service cater to you. Why? Because that's their big one. I try to go shopping. They say you got 1500 I said, Look at that, look at that vehicle. You guys like that vehicle? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. I want to drive that yellow car, it looks like a taxi. Also, that car has leather frock seats. Would I ever drive that car? Hey, would I ever own it? Nah. Why are those colors are made for somebody to drive you around? But if I drive on, on Mercedes, that would mind. Everybody start looking over to your left hand side. It is really the time. One of my favorite stores here is actually the gentleman's side. You guys notice there's mostly gentlemen in there. Why? Because we're just too simple. By the way, if you guys are ever planning to buy a fur coat here in uh, of these stores, you guys are not going to be able to anymore. Starting January 1st, 2023 is the place. This is one of the places that you cannot shop here. Why? Which to buy for a coat because it's now legal in the state of California. Half of these stores have already said, okay, it's fine. But what can you do? The best thing? You can actually order online from Kira. And it's cheaper too. Carolina, Oakland, and also is one of my favorite stores. Why? Because I see his Scarlett Johansson walks in and out. Why? Because she's actually not the store. She's the most important of the, of the store. If you guys notice here online, right hand side, you guys are going to see Gucci Austria. Gucci Austria, that is actually a third floor restaurant beyond Gucci level. Also, like I said before, Jennifer Lopez, I caught her shopping here in 2017 and 18. Why? Because she likes Italian. Now we're going to be coming over here to one of my favorite spots. And as I make this turn, you guys want to see how that little spot. Like the Man, if you guys wear makeup, Sephora has actually makeup back then, uh, back stock. Cleaning it if you guys can't find, you guys can't find it at your normal stores or Macy's. If you're looking for a specific foundation, powder, or lipstick, you guys are going to be able to find it here. Why? Because they go back about it.
How do I know that? I actually brought my daughter here. She said, I think I'm missing this and this and this. I don't know there. She spent about close to like $200 on makeup. I'm like, I'm not even thinking. Those are Let's see who's actually, let's see who's dining on my left hand side here. Tonight, it's open tonight. You also got the Laugh Factory over here. That's the one that Joe Rogan used to do stand up at. At the comedy store. That's the famous, uh, it's also famous for uh, Richard Pryor, Ivan Sunset, that's one. Uh, Joe Rogan and Carlos Mencia got into it. What did I let her go? Because they're Californians. They have expensive cars, but don't know how to drive them.
by the way, in about, well, it started to rain, then the eye was going to be on the corner of uh, uh, right and across the road. And those are record stores right there if you guys want to go check it out. Look over to my right, way up there, you guys are going to see a million dollar home that put them off the map. How do I know that? I actually talked to one of these people late at night. But actually, one of my friends that I used to talk to back in my college days. You're now looking at is the Sunset Plaza directly at me. Oh, guys, if you guys like that from Germany, that is actually based on a movie called Garfield. That is 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 based on a movie called Garfield. Look at this right here, guys. This is the Sunset Plaza. Guys. 
What's up, my guy? Sometimes they have a low cut 